Sydney is the oldest, biggest and most beautiful of all Australian cities. It lies amid a seductive intermingling of land and sea. From splendid Sydney Harbour, idyllic beaches and great national parks, to the marvellous creativity of Sydney Opera House, dazzling entertainment and fascinating heritage, Sydney has it all. It's considered to be one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It fans out from the sparkling harbour to iconic Bondi Beach in the east, Golden Palm Beach in the north, the Blue Mountains in the west, and Australia's oldest national park in the south. This vibrant city shines all year with spectacular events, including the world-famous Sydney New Year's Eve fireworks, blockbuster musicals, brilliant theatre, sailing regattas, surfing competitions and thrilling sports. But for 23 days each year, Sydney pulls out all the stops and really turns the lights on to produce its multi-award winning festival of light called Vivid Sydney. It transforms the city into the world's largest outdoor art gallery of light, music and ideas. Its mesmerising light art illuminates in brilliant colour, striking architecture, sculptures, buildings, the bridge and gardens, and gives them a whole new feeling. In this program, you'll discover just why such a brilliant and unique annual event illuminates the light of the world. Sydney is known as the Harbour City. It's spectacularly draped around its glorious harbour and beaches. It has a visual wow factor like few other cities. Scratch its surface and it only gets better. It's the largest, oldest and most cosmopolitan city in Australia, with an enviable reputation as one of the world's most beautiful and livable cities brimming with history, nature, culture, art, fashion, cuisine, design, Sydney's located next to kilometres of ocean coastline and sandy surf beaches. The city is also home to the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge, two of the most iconic structures on this planet. The city is surrounded by nature and national parks which extend through the suburbs and right to the shores of its magnificent harbour. Today, Sydney is a major global city and an important financial centre in the Asia Pacific region. Now, there are downtowns or CBDs everywhere in the world, of course, but I think Vivid Sydney creates a downtown you won't see anywhere else. It's the world's largest festival of light, music, and ideas. It features spectacular outdoor lighting and projection displays on Sydney's iconic landmarks, historic buildings and popular locations. It literally transforms Sydney into one huge, dazzling nighttime canvas of light as these places are illuminated in brilliant colour. The city becomes a wonderland of light art. Vivid Sydney also features music and ideas as well as light. People come to contemporary music programs and there are also many of the world's most important creative industry forums. Yes, this is where art, technology and commerce intersect. Something called Vivid Ideas is the Asia Pacific's annual celebration of innovation, creativity and community. It offers all kinds of professional development opportunities and also builds audiences and markets for the creative industries. People can check out some 200 events, from industry conferences to keynote talks, from networking sessions to hands-on workshops. 
It definitely is vivid ideas. But surely the most striking scene that embodies ideas, music and light is the Sydney Opera House, the star attraction on the glittering harbour and a vivid Sydney. This iconic and graceful building, shaped like shells or billowing sails, is lit up in the most beautiful way. This Sydney Opera House is a multi-venue performing arts centre. It's situated on Benelong Point in Sydney Harbour, close to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Next door is Sydney Central Business District and also the Royal Botanic Gardens. This building was designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzen. He was the winner of an international design competition. The New South Wales Government, led by Premier Cahill, authorised work to begin way back in 1958. Utzen directed the construction. But then things got complicated. The cost built up. There were scheduling overruns. And Utzen ultimately resigned as the architect. It was finally completed and opened formally by Queen Elizabeth in 1973. And this classic structure isn't just an opera house. It comprises multiple performance venues. In fact, this is now one of the busiest performing arts centres in the world. 1,500 performances each year, 1.2 million people attending. In fact, the Sydney Opera House was identified as one of the 20th century's most distinctive buildings. In 2007, it became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now here's something else you see, quite big, quite striking, just beyond the Opera House. It's the Sydney Harbour Bridge, or Kotanga as the locals call it. Supported by massive double piers at both ends, it was built in 1932 and remains the world's largest steel arch bridge, connecting the harbour's north and south shores in a single curve rising 134 metres above the water. And now, all this history and drama is reflected in the bridge's beautiful and dramatic light display. During Vivid Sydney, the narrow cobbled laneways and historic buildings are lit in brilliant colour and still fizz with the adventurous spirit of its original settlers. Further along the narrow cobblestone alleyways is Illuminosaurus, capturing a dinosaur in a moment of fierce pursuit. Then there's the 1,000 cranes, inspired by an ancient Japanese legend. The artists have created a canopy of hanging origami cranes that light up as visitors move through the space. As the crowd grows, more cranes light up until 1,000 cranes are fully illuminated, sharing a colourful message of peace and happiness. Further along the Harbour Light Trail, visitors find Customs House, an historic Sydney landmark located in the Circular Quay area that was constructed in 1845. It served as the headquarters of the Australian's Customs and Border Protection Service. During Vivid Sydney, it's home to two of Australia's favourite fictional characters. Exactly 100 years ago, author Mae Gibbs gave Australia two little fictional characters who dropped out of a gum tree and became instant superstars. Since then, pretty well every Australian child has grown up steeped in the adventures of the intrepid gumnut babies. Generations of Australian children have barracked for their gumnut heroes as they battled the evil Banksia men and their wicked henchmen, the vicious Mrs Snake and the voracious monster octopus. There's more brilliant light art further along the light walk at East Circular Quay. Light art with exotic names like Visible Dynamics, Fragmented and Chrysalis combine to deliver decorative light patterns that twirl, tumble, spin and turn upside down. There are mesmerised viewers who pass by on their way to the botanical gardens. 
Visitors pass through the Queen Elizabeth II gates and into the Royal Botanical Gardens, and then follow a pathway that weaves through an exciting nocturnal environment, revealing wonders created by artists and inspired by nature. First, you wander through the Nautilus forest, dodging strange spiral-like creations that might be trees, but could just as easily be corals or some curious form of animal life. The forest feels alive, rippling and pulsing with colour. On the other side of the forest is the bloom, a giant electric metallic flower, its petals adorned with mirrors that retract and reflect light. Then there's Nacra, a breathtaking natural or unnatural seashell agglomeration and other designs which guide you to a series of weird and wonderful light creations that twist, turn, radiate and dazzle. At last, explore Aquios, an interactive meandering pathway of light and one of the first pattern-based physical sculptures of size and scale that creates a landscape of life. And this is just a taste of the exotic, the beautiful and the intriguing and the downright strange works of light that lure visitors through the garden. Then we follow the light trail further and walk along the shoreline to Darling Harbour. Here, light and water combine to create fantastic oceans. Water features come to life as jellyfish in a fantastic display of colour. Feature fountains emulate corals and deep sea flora. Lasers ripple like ocean waves or etch silhouettes of deep sea creatures. The dancing water jets and full colour lasers turn your walk into a dreamlike dive under the ocean. Then Vivid's dazzling light walk extends over the bridge to the north side of the harbour. Luna Park, Sydney's iconic amusement park, comes alive with an array of brilliant colourful lights. The famous face of Luna Park smiles more brightly than ever. And the entire amusement park comes alive with brilliant shapes, patterns and colours. The giant Ferris wheel becomes an explosion of colour, light and music as it turns with over 3,000 individual LED lights flashing and dramatically changing colour. It's the only vivid installation you can actually ride. It's all action and light at Luna Park, where visitors are immersed in a world of light and get a bird's eye view of vivid Sydney from 35 metres up in the sky. Our final stop is Vivid Sydney's wildest precinct, Taronga Zoo. Here, there's a shining light on the wonders of wildlife with a spectacular display of light sculptures, including echidnas, tigers, elephants, gorillas, crocodiles, turtles, frogs, birds and sharks. The zoo is located on the shores of Sydney Harbour and offers superb views of the city skyline. The zoo is home to over 2,600 animals on about 30 hectares, making it one of the largest of its kind. Taronga Zoo has about 340 different species of animal, and many of them are depicted here in the brilliant installations and light sculptures. Each of these incredible creations tells a fascinating conservation story about these beautiful animals and the importance of caring for them and protecting them. During Vivid Sydney, people from around the world come here to stare at this dazzling array of lights. Architecture becomes a form of art. People focus intently. These colourful Vivid Sydney lights have a huge impact and seem to transform this city. They transform it from being just dark and drab into something of great beauty. The light brings the city to life. But there's another light, an even greater light that brings change, that brings life. A light that literally transforms people's lives. 
a light that can turn dark and drab lives into something of great beauty. The light of the world, Jesus Christ. Throughout the Scriptures, Jesus is compared to light. He is the ultimate source of light and life. He brings true happiness in this life and helps us find true joy and hope. He literally lights up our lives. Here's what Jesus said in John chapter 8 and verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Just like vivid Sydney lights up the city and turns it into something of beauty, so Jesus can light up our lives and transform us into something of great beauty and value. And in a sense, it all begins by this, looking. Our lives can change, our lives can be transformed when we simply focus on Jesus Christ, the light of the world. We look at all kinds of things in this life, of course. The media throws out images that grab our attention. But what matters is what we concentrate on, what we value. Here's what Jesus Himself said in Matthew chapter 6, verses 21 to 23. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. In a sense, Faith is simply about what our eyes are looking at and taking in. And that makes a big difference. And do you want to know something clear that you can look at? The Gospels in the Bible, the life of Jesus laid out. Because really taking in that life creates faith, a faith perspective that transforms, that brings light, hope and happiness. In Him, in Christ was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Yes, there's all kinds of darkness in this world. You have troubles, right? You have obstacles. And there may be times when you just can't seem to overcome the darkness. But there's someone who definitely can. Please notice what Jesus said in John chapter 12 and verse 45. I've come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. There you have it. We may feel that we're in a dark place in our lives. We may feel we're in a hopeless situation. But when we begin to focus on the light of the world, a transformation begins. Suddenly, putting our eyes on the light that shines in darkness, we begin experiencing life to the full. We find happiness and peace. During Vivid Sydney, two and a half million people come here to experience and look at these spectacular and dazzling lights. They focus intently on these lights that transform this city. Well, focusing on the light of the world can have an even greater impact. Placing your eyes and your faith in the life of Jesus Christ takes people to an even higher life than they can ever imagine. So yes, transformation starts with this one thing, what we focus on. And then there's the next step. You find it here in the Bible book of 1 John chapter 1 and verse 7. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, His Son, purifies us from all sin. After you see the light, you walk in the light. That is, you respond to this remarkable life of Jesus Christ. You're not just passive. You're not just sitting on a sofa, reading a gospel, reading the good news about Jesus in the Bible, nodding, and then putting it away. No, you take it with you. In those Gospels, there are going to be commands that strike you. There are going to be exhortations that lift you up. 
Well, make those a goal. Pray that you'll be able to express those truths in some way. You notice something like that here in Vivid Sydney. People walk around to really take in these dazzling scenes. They move closer, they absorb. What's more, they're almost always interacting with friends, talking about what they're taking in. Yes, these visitors are compelled in a way to express how these flashing lights strike them. And that's how the light of the world transforms us. The second step is about expressing it in some way. We all have different gifts. We all have different ways we can express the good life that Christ lays down. But the point is to respond, to walk, to move forward with a principle that Christ's Spirit convicts you about. Here's what the Apostle Paul says in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness and truth. The sun's rays create an incredible variety of fruit. There are blueberries in the bushes, apples, nectarines and mangoes in the trees. Opening ourselves to God's light can bear abundant fruit as well. God creates with light. God can use every act to work good out of evil, redemption out of calamity. He's a Rembrandt, colouring the world. Flowers are poking up through the mud. Rainbows are flashing across grey skies. That light of the world, Jesus Christ, can have such an impact on each one of us. Even the most hopeless life can be propelled so high up. We can be optimistic. We can look forward to a new beginning. Here's how the Apostle Paul puts it in Romans chapter 13 and verse 12. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armour of light. That light of the world can become armour. That is, it can become what strengthens us and protects us, no matter what has pushed us down before. I invite you to consider this. The city of Sydney takes on such a dramatic new life with those colourful flashes. It becomes vivid Sydney. People experience a metropolis in an entirely new way. And a genuinely new life, a real transformation, comes through Jesus Christ, the light of the world. The impact is there. We must simply focus our eyes, place our faith, absorb that light, and then walk with it. Express it in some way. Your life will be so much brighter so much more colourful when you absorb this gracious Saviour and friend. Why not decide to invite Him into your life right now as we pray? Dear Father, what a privilege it is to really focus on this light of the world in the Gospels. Help us to really see this man, really take in who he is, build up our faith and enable us to move forward to express that light through the gift that You will give us. In Jesus' Name we pray, Amen. Each year, Vivid Sydney wows Australia's oldest, biggest and most beautiful city with the world's largest festival of light, music and ideas. It features spectacular outdoor lighting and projection displays on Sydney's iconic landmarks, historic buildings and popular locations. It literally transforms Sydney into one huge, dazzling nighttime canvas of light as these places are illuminated in brilliant colour. The city becomes a wonderland of light art and in a sense, points us to the great source of light and life, Jesus Christ. He's able to transform our lives, remove the darkness, bring us light, hope and happiness. If you'd like to get closer to God, 
experience His light, live a better life and find true peace and happiness, then I'd like to recommend the free gift we have for all our viewers today. It's the book, Light Up Your World. This book is our gift to you and is absolutely free. There are no costs or obligations whatsoever. Many have been blessed and inspired by this book, Light Up Your World. So make the most of this wonderful opportunity to receive the gift we have for you today. Here's the information you need. Phone or text us at 0436 333 5 or visit our website www.tij.tv to request today's free offer and we'll send it to you totally free of charge and with no obligation. So don't delay. Call or text 0436 333 5 in Australia or 020 422 2042 in New Zealand or visit our website www.tij.tv to request today's offer. Write to us at PO Box 5101 Dora Creek, New South Wales 2264 Australia or PO Box 76673 Manukau, Auckland 2241 New Zealand. Don't delay. Phone or text 0436 333 5 in Australia or 020 422 2042 in New Zealand or visit our website www.tij.tv to request today's free offer. If you've enjoyed today's dazzling journey to Sydney to experience Vivid and our reflections on the light of the world and His power to change lives for the better and bring colour, light, joy and happiness, be sure to join us again next week when we'll share another of life's journeys together. Until then, remember the ultimate destination of life's journey. Now, I saw a new heaven and a new earth and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away.